So like everybody's new to Anime Vanguard. So what I want to do in this video is take through everybody for a tier list. Um, I've also kind of been dependent on this and shout out to um, Gomo Adventures on Twitter um, where I found this one as well. I'll link them in the description below. But essentially whenever I've got my unit and I've got pools and I don't know who's the best one to pick, who to add, except for this filter, which kind of shows where I can go through it. I'm lucky enough to have an ex uh, a mythic, but obviously there's different levels and stats are going through in the community of discussed and seen what's kind of the best, you know, the best, I guess, unit to have. Um, here's a tier list that they've kind of threw together so in d you've got, and c you've got kind of the most common ones that you're obviously going to get um b you start with epics but you've got a few epics that will sneak in above but you've got like lagina's piccolo piccolo um inosake uh Genitsu, gara and shinzi uh gary sorry um all these names have changed they're hilarious um they're all kind of in the b tier but what you'll find is from kind of a upwards it's your some epics but it's kind of your mythics, your secrets, and secret exclusives, and so on. Um, for me, I've been lucky enough. I pulled uh, Sasuke Habe, so I've kind of got an S tier there, which I'm definitely going to put in. Notably, I would say that Sprint Wagon or Speed Wagon is in the top right hand corner. He's an epic, so to get him, and he's been you know seen as an S plus to have on your unit, um, it's definitely worthwhile to have that. Um, they've obviously got different skills and techniques to have, but having this as a guideline, it'll help you with your pools, it'll help you putting your unit together, and so on. Um, if this video has helped you guys, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. And let me know in the comment section if you want to see more of these sort of videos. Bye-bye.